Hi, welcome back to Hoberick Recording Studios. Today, we're gonna be a bit crafty and build ourselves some record shelves. If you're like me and like to record bands that usually release their albums on vinyl, it can be pretty nice to have them on display in the studio because, I mean, it's a studio so you should show off what you're working with, right? We had some space in the dining room in the studio here where we wanted to do just that. I want to take the time today and show you how I did those uh, shelves. I don't, I'm not sure what to call it in English, but we can display them as art and just take them down easily and let visitors in the studio have a look at it if they want to. I have had these kind of shelves in my previous apartment, so you might have seen them in the background of in a few of my earlier videos. First off, we obviously need some stuff to build this. You need two different types of wooden stripes. The ones I have here are 8x33 mm and 10x12 mm. You don't have to go with this exactly, just somewhere around that. Then we have some glue and clamps to hold it in place, drilling machine and suitable drills and screw bits. Depending on the wall you plan on, you might need some plugs, uh, some screws, a level and paint. You will also need a saw and something to measure with. Put a thin line of wooden glue on the wider wooden stripe. And then mount the, the thinner wooden stripe on the top third of the wider one, sort of. It's not. It's not super crucial, but the main point is that, that you should have a much wider edge on one side than on the other one. This will make it possible to remove the records from the wall, uh, but still give it enough support when it's sitting there. Make sure to fixate it as straight as possible with the clamps. When the glue is dry, you can uh, saw the pieces off to the length uh, as you want them. Uh, a vinyl album is 31 and a half centimeters. Um, so just multiply that with as many records you want on display and then you know how long those shelves must be. And for one row of records you need two of these shelves and then for each extra row you just add one. Uh, I'm making four of these so I have three rows of records on the wall in our dining room. After cutting them up to correct length I took them out to give them some black paint. Um, probably would be nicer if I had some proper wood paint, but I just took what I had and I had a can of spray paint and just did it quick and dirty. When the paint was dry I drilled three holes in each shelf uh, and then I measured out at what height I wanted the first row to start on the wall uh, and then I just marked out the middle of the first one to make it easy to mount. Since we have plaster walls I drilled a hole and put a plug in it and then I put the first shelf loosely in place. With the help of the level I made sure it was straight and then I marked out where the two other holes were going to be and uh, did the same thing, drilled holes and plugged it. With the help of some album covers uh, I measured out where the next shelf is going to be and here it's very important that you give it enough space so that you can lift up the album and uh, take it out. The edges of the shelves should be that you have the thin edge on the upside and the larger edge on the downside so that you can scooch the album up and lift it above the edge of the lower shelf. And after that it's just repeating the procedure until you're done. We haven't filled it up yet, but it's on its way. And uh, as a small little bonus, we could also fit a row of CDs on the top. I hope you like the content, and uh, if you know anyone that are uh, in the need of building this thing, please share the video. Um, I would appreciate it, and give it a thumbs up, leave comments, and subscribe if you haven't. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Cheers.